how does one make a distinction between anti-colonial, decolonial and post-colonial? I think uh, there are three concepts there which needs unpacking and uh, defining for, <clears throat> for purposes of clarity and the understanding of what decolonization is. Uh, when we talk about anti-colonial, we are talking really about um, <clears throat> the struggles, the physical struggles which uh, were prosecuted against an observable physical empire. That was anti-colonial. And the, the, the limits of anti-colonial is that uh, the withdrawal of the physical empire is taken as the end of, uh, of colonialism. And uh, more often than not, the problem is that those who take over, they generally do not change the institutions, the structures, uh, <clears throat> and, the, and the all, all what is inherited from colonialism, they carry over from where they left. Mm -hmm. So that's why anti-colonial is not decolonial. Mm -hmm. Decolonial then comes in as a more radical part, uh, which actually targets the the structural, the systemic, and the institutional. And it targets them for change. Mm -hmm. That uh, really, you change the institutions which were introduced by colonialism. You change the structures which were introduced by colonialism. You change even the intersubjective relations mm -hmm. which were introduced by uh, colonialism. Rather than to turn them upside down, mm -hmm. that uh, the colonizer was up, and now the, 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 the African becomes up. If you do that, we have not destructured. We have just turned mm -hmm. the scale upside down. So that's the limits of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of anti-colonial. Uh, but they are related, as you can tell. Anti-colonial was supposed to, if it is genuine, it was supposed to culminate in decolonial. Mm -hmm. uh, the post-colonial is something else. The post-colonial... Uh, emerges particularly in the 1990s. It emerges at a time uh, when uh, the Marxist thinking was now delegitimized. Um, the nationalist projects were no longer uh, thought of as the right way to take us into the future. That's when you have the emergence of the post-colonial and the foundational text in post-colonial thinking is the work of um, the Palestinian scholar Edward Said mm -hmm. and uh, his book published in 1978, Orientalism. That is this text which is always referred to as inaugurating the post-colonial. And uh, uh, the post-colonial raised a number of debates uh, the first one is, does post-colonial mean after colonialism? Mm -hmm. And I think the most sophisticated answer is that post-colonial does, does not mean after colonialism. It means the continuation of colonialism, reproduction of the colonial uh, uh, structures, logics, uh, within what Achille Mbembe would call the post colonial so the post-colony, if you look at it carefully, it becomes continuity in discontinuities. When colonialism is said to have discontinued, mm. post-colonialism see continuities in that. Mm. 